Hi, I'm Alexis, the owner and designer at Merge and Center, an Etsy shop that specializes in Google Sheets templates. Today, I'm going to show you this simple checklist. And it's so easy to use that this tutorial video is going to be pretty short. So we've got our checklist table over here. This is where you're going to add all your checklist items. You've got a custom category drop down column here as well. And you can categorize these in this table to the right here. So let me add some items here. Okay, so I have some items added here and I'm gonna categorize them. And first I need to add my custom categories to the table down here to make them available in the drop down menu. So let me add some of these categories now. Now that I've got some of these added here, I'm going to finish filling out the table up here. Okay, so if you look at the table down here, you'll see that it tells you how many times you've used each of these categories, as well as the percentage of the times that you've used these categories. How you use these categories is really entirely up to you. And I also strongly recommend putting some emojis in these categories because it's pretty fun to see them all. This tool could be great for projects or for family chore lists or just your personal to do. Really, the sky's the limit with this. As you check items off, your progress pie chart over here is going to update. And then when you get to the very end, ta-da, congratulations, you finished your checklist. The clean checklist sheet is identical to the simple checklist when you first receive it. And the purpose of it is just to duplicate from to make new checklists. So let's say you've got this checklist going, but you wanna create a new one. You'll go to the clean checklist, right click, duplicate, you can click and drag these around to reorder them. And then you can also right click and rename your checklists. So the clean checklist should always stay as it is so that you always have a clean slate to work from. Alternatively, if you're going to reuse a checklist, here's a little trick that will make that easier for you. So if you highlight all of the check boxes that you want either checked or unchecked, so I've got these four highlighted right now, and then you click your space bar, it will automatically either check them all or uncheck them all depending on what their current state is. So space bar to check them all and space bar to uncheck them all. Lastly, I'll point out there's a resources section down at the bottom of the sheet here. You got a couple of Google Sheets tutorials in case you need help getting started with Google Sheets, a link to the tutorial that you're watching now. And there's also a feedback and suggestion box if you have any feedback on this tool or any of my other tools in the Immersion Center shop. That's it for the simple checklist. Thanks for watching and happy checklisting.